Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff for MadHattersReef.com and today we're going to be talking about a do-it-yourself fish food from Dr. Tim's Aquatics. Alright guys, so today we're taking a look at Dr. Tim's Aquatics Beneficial Fish Food. And there's also a freshwater version of this as well. Now to start, you need a bag of the base, and that is the stuff on the left. Now the base food is good enough to be fish food all on its own, but there's also grinders that are filled with other options such as garlic and seaweed medley. And this guy really is the limit with this product. You can go far beyond the realm of what Dr. Tim's Aquatics has available. You can hatch brine shrimp, throw them in the water that you are mixing the fish food in, and even throw in additives into the, an empty grinder and put that stuff into your fish food as well. Now, to make this stuff, it's really easy. Uh, you need a half a cup of water boiling. And while that water is coming to boil, you can mix your fish food. You're gonna need three scoops of the base food. And then once you have the three scoops in there, you can start adding the additives such as the garlic or the seaweed medley. And with this one, I kind of added a little bit of everything to it just to see how it, it would come out. And one thing that I noticed when I opened up the bags, it kind of smells a little bit like dog food a little bit. Uh, it's pretty strong smelling, so you know it's going to be a, a potent food that the fish are going to be able to find pretty easy. Now, a half a cup of water comes to boil pretty quick. And the insider tip is make sure that your dry food is mixed prior to starting to boil the water uh, just because... I got caught with my pants down and had to put the boil on pause so I could finish mixing the dry food prior to adding the boiling water. And quick safety tip here, what I'm doing is pretty dumb. Uh, this is a canning jar so it should be able to withstand the temperature change of putting boiling water into glass. Uh, but just the same, just for safety, I shouldn't have had my hand on it while I was pouring in the water. And stirring. Stirring is very important. You want to make sure you stir it for a solid two minutes just to make sure that it is mixed properly throughout. And once it's done mixing, you pour it into your silicone tray and put it into the freezer for two to four hours. And when it's done, you take it out and it looks like this. You're just going to kind of pop out all the little squares out of the silicone tray. And it's a little bit of work, but uh, it comes out pretty clean. I think what I like most about this is how small the squares are. A lot of those fish foods that you buy at the pet store, uh, they're much bigger. And you're cutting them down and putting them in the freezer and refreezing and unthawing and refreezing and unthawing. I like how small these are just because it's really going to cut down on the amount of wasted food that you have. Now at this point in the video, I really should be showing you how much the fish enjoy this food. But these fish are in quarantine, and that's another video for another time. So if you want to catch that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And also, if you want to check out Dr. Tim's Aquatics Beneficial Fish Food, jump over to drtimsaquatics.com. All right, guys. So today I want to try something new. It's something that I wanted to do a long time ago, but I couldn't figure out the way to go about it. Is I want to start spotlighting YouTubers that are in the saltwater aquarium hobby. Maybe just maybe I won't just narrow it down to saltwater aquariums maybe we'll kind of broaden our horizons a little bit so for this Sunday we're taking a look at CJ's aquarium CJ has recently upgraded to a 120 gallon reef aquarium and he's doing a amazing job at documenting the entire process the guy's absolutely been blowing up he was he was tailing me for a little while in the subscriber count uh, but he has surpassed me at this point but understandably he's putting out some amazing content another thing that i think cj does really well is live streams every once in a while and he kind of gets everybody together and talks about what's going on what his plans are and he wants to also talk to other guys and see what their plans are about aquariums as well gonna be a link down in the description below if you want to check out his channel so if we can make this a thing and you want your channel spotlight or you feel that somebody else's channel needs to be spotlighted in front of other people get it out there get some momentum built up behind them go ahead and leave a comment down below as to who you feel would be a exceptional person to take a look at all right guys that's going to do it for today's video if you're new to mad hatter's reef please hit the subscribe button and if you are a subscriber to mad hatter's reef hit the bell because what that's going to do it's going to keep you up to date every time i upload a video i want to thank you for joining me today and i'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video
Okay.